Hello, Mario Ponerp here, and now we are returning to my next Let's Play. Fortunately, it's not a Super Nintendo game this time. It is Mega Man Zero, one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games of all time, and a sequel to the Mega Man X series. It takes place about 200 years after Mega Man X, and it's loosely connected to it. Let's see exactly how nice it is. So we start off with the girl running. And look, it's La Resistance! Viva La Resistance! Those mooks look like they're up to no good. And the resistance doesn't really do that well. Seriously, they could have just couldn't they have ducked or dodged or done a matrix style thing or something? I don't know. Anyway, the mooks, the Promethei, and Golems of New York Arcadia are attacking the resistance. It's not a monster, it's a giant robot. And also, bullets are useless. Looks like the resistance and that girl and that Navi knockoff are in trouble. A dead end? So I guess that girl's name is CL. Mm, not very important, but nice to know anyway. Uh, I don't really don't think you're gonna take care of them, and whoa, is that is that zero? That's awesome! Finally a character a freaking recognize. <sighs> it's good to see him again. Then again, I was kind of expecting that, considering his name's on the title screen, but anyway. Apparently, Resistance is trying to find him, because I guess they need his help. Considering how easy base they got owned by these basic enemies earlier, I guess they really need it. Oh no, and here are the mooks. Nice job, buddy. Shield CL with your forehead. <laughs> It'll work. Couldn't you have ducked out of the way of that? <laughs> your reaction time is horrible. CL. CL, this is no time for a heroic blue screen of death. Snap out of it. Err, uh, what? Why are the random floating heads? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Wait, there's more of these move? There's more resistance people? Ah. Well, whatever. Well, I hope whatever they're trying to do works. You don't need to say her name that badly. We all know what her name is, and... Oh, we're trying to reactivate Zero. I say it worked. Ah, and Zero's theme from Mega Man X1 makes a reappearance. And so, we take control of Zero, and we decide to help her out, so we really don't have anything better to do this week. The robots that were chasing the resistance that I just exploded are called Promethei. Promethei. Plural, Prometheus. They're main mooks of Neo Arcadia, the Empire of uh, Doom, and. They're, they're not very strong, but there is a whole lot of them. So now we have to escort CL through this abandoned research facility. Like X and Zero could in Mega Man and X series, Zero can jump, he can move left and right, he can dash. He can dash jump, and he can wall jump on one wall to the breaking the laws of physics. He can also shoot, but Zero doesn't have his saber because he has lost it or something. And he can't charge his, he can't charge his weapon yet. You see, this game has an experience system and levels up and levels up for your weapons. If you beat enough enemies with your weapon, you can earn back skills for it. It's kind of justified considering Zero has amnesia for the third time now. Yeah, the third time. Anyway, a bit about gameplay. Let me kill this enemy right here. Anyway, those enemies drop, sometimes drop health upon defeating. Those red boxes. And the white boxes drop their e energy crystals, which are like money. But they are only useful for like one purpose, really. But we'll get into that later. More into that later. These enemies are relatively weak. And see, I just got a cyber elf, like the one past the CL used in introduction. They're computer, they're computer, according to the manual, they are computer programs given form, and, well, energy crystals are needed to activate them fully. But, however, once you activated them, you can use them to refill health, um, 
um, increase weapon power, do all kinds, and do all kinds of awesome stuff, which makes the game easier. And everything you know about this game, despite the intro stage being relatively easy, is that the game itself is quite hard. Energy crystals, especially trying to get a cyber ready, considering the very ridiculous quantities of energy crystals it takes to activate them. More Prometheus, this Prometheus, I'm sorry, holding stun rods this time. His red box things are health. Design changed. And also, you may have noticed Zero's Buster looks a bit strange. It looks like an ordinary gun. Because it is an ordinary gun that Zero picked up, and it suddenly turned into a Buster as soon as he picked it up. Yeah, I know, it doesn't really make much sense. But we're pretty much at the end of the intro stage here. Okay, that was stupid of me, but... Well, I just figured I'd point that out. There's, there's a Cyber Elf and some more stuff up there, but we really can't get to it very well yet. So let's just finish the level. Wasn't really that bad. Now, just a bit of logic here. If that's a dead end, then how the heck did the re law resistance get in here in the first place? Oh, never mind. Zero, catch her! Thank God you don't take fall damage. Well, anyway... Yeah, we can wall jump out of here, but there's no purpose to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and find CL. And the passageway has collapsed. And just on a note of being practical again, how the heck are we supposed to go back? I mean, sure, Zero can wall jump, but I doubt he can wall jump and carry CL all the way up, but... Stay back! My hero sense is tingly! Oh gosh, he got kidnapped. Oh dear. The first boss of the game, the Golem. And also, you can't damage this thing with the buster, it's blatant lies. See, I just shot it. I guess I just damaged it with the buster. However, it only does one damage to it, so you're probably, it's probably going to take forever. The boss is not really that hard, but the first time you're playing, it's probably going to rip you to shreds, because it's the first time playing. And this boss conti fight continues on until there's a, a cutscene, which occurs whether e with when either Zero or the boss have reached half health. But first time around, it's usually going to be Zero has reached half health. But then this mysterious guy appears and throws you Zero's Z Saber. Who are you? How do you know my name? Why does the plot demand you be the mysterious advice giver? How did you know I had to save her? Well, anyway, the boss, this boss is ridiculously weak to the Z Saber. So much so, it can be killed in one hit with it. See? Owned. You could finish taking it out with the Buster if you want to get a higher score, but it takes longer. And I hate things that take longer. So anyway, we've completed the mission. I can't believe you were able to destroy a golem. We were right. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid. Zero? Is that my name? Lip log lipsix. Log lipsix? <sighs> can't remember. Just relax for a moment. You have hibernation sickness, just like in Star Wars. I'm sorry for forcing you to wake up, and thank you for saving me. My name's CL. I'm a scientist. Let's go to our base before enemies arrive. What about the zero you're talking about? Hmm, I have a feeling it's going to be important later in the series, but you proved to me you are zero for saving me from that golem. It wasn't really that big of a deal. The golem's pretty easy, but anyway, the Z-Saber. It's awesome. Does more damage than the Buster. Shorter range, but does more damage than the Buster, and it can be leveled up to do be better too. So we finished the first mission. So yeah, you can use this trans server to go back to the resistance base. And a bit of a bilingual bonus: trans in Latin actually means across, because you know the trans server transports you across things. It's pretty cool. Now here's the cyber elves we managed to collect. A Stakui, and Staku, which can stun enemies, and a clock paw, which can slow down time. Fortunately, these are well, relatively low level elves, and they don't require energy crystals, but, well, whatever. Let's head back to the base. And so, I got a C rank. Yeah, you get ranked in this game based on how well you did, and let's just say that getting a high ranking is hard. Well, that's pretty much all I have for today, or this update anyway. Next time, next time we will take on the next mission.